Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. I was planning on putting out this reaction yesterday, but for some stupid reason, my computer was acting up and not sure what was happening. But I'm here now checking out Metallica, The Call of Cthulhu, Hamburg, Germany, live, May 26, 2023. I was so excited, because I was like, they're playing The Call of Cthulhu, and they're playing Orion on these two shows per city, no repeat weekend, which I'm saying them in November, no repeat weekend. So if they're still performing The Call of Cthulhu and Orion one each night, I'm going to be so, so happy because I want to hear these instrumentals live in person. And so uh, I hate the fact this is a day late, but it is what it is. My computer is dumb. When we start recording here, I'm going to verify we're still good on the frame rates and all that. But let's dive in, guys. Let's check it out. The Call of Cthulhu Live. This is, of course, a phenomenal song by Metallica. And I can't wait to hear how it's sounding now this year. Okay, now we're good. I had to download the video for it to play properly. I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyways, we're good? I think we're good, right? Good? Okay. Yeah, I heard there was like an intro tape beforehand. Maybe they've been started doing this recently. I think they might have done this in 2019 before SM. Or no, maybe it was after the SM2. They started doing this. Yeah, I think so. I was having frame rate. The frame rate issues was the problem. Was having frame rate issues. It was like buffering more than normal. So, anyways. Oh yeah, I remember that. Love that. Still getting used to the yellow drums. Slow bit up in the green too. It's cool. And is this the performance with James' new guitar? Because I saw an image of James' new guitar uh, with Cthulhu on it. I'm hoping. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh my god, that's so cool. I love that. Each notification. I love that guitar. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't cut away that one is saying. Here we go. But up to that solo. 
And also, too, I mean, it's kind of apparent in the last couple of years of live performances, but the... That's not a lot of major stick. <laughs> um, but it's... Uh, the sound quality of the live recordings in post is so good. You would think Kirk would want to use like a green guitar or something to kind of match Cthulhu. The, the green kind of yellow but more green blue that's cool Improv there from Kirk. I like that his snare is uh, black. Everything else is yellow with all the different toms and stuff and the double bass uh, drums, but I like the snare is black, it's like, like an accent. That's awesome. the build up on this riff. Going to the mic? <laughs> Gonna start singing? Cthulhu! Cthulhu! <laughs> favorite parts of the song. He's running. Rob's running over there. This right here. Well, after this part, alright. But it's, it's a nice transition. James, feel it, man. Here we go. It's right here. Love that pattern. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no symbol, sorry. so much more to this part here, that little harmony part. Now sometimes that da 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 like that little part right there, sometimes they get a little off sync at times. I'm so happy they've they're doing a lot better on that. It's so much cooler that he's playing that part on that guitar. Ending. Oh, 
Run over. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's the ending? I forget. Is it Chow's Fall? Yeah. Good shot. Let's do, let's do a James with the fucking Cthulhu guitar. This was awesome. Besides, I don't know what it is. Don't know if it's. I don't know. YouTube is overall fine with me recording as I do for some reason. <laughs> it's just finicky. I don't know. But I figured it out now. If I want to react and I just want to be triple, quadruple safe, just download the fucking video. So maybe that's what I should do from now on. Just download the video. <laughs> Anyways, this was awesome. It's great to hear the song live. Um, the thing that I really wish that maybe they would change, just because I thought about it more, because when we got to this part over here where he's playing the intro, of course it's playing, of course, towards the outro. This this beautiful intro of the song, and he's playing it here on this guitar. I kind of like when the song starts off traditional, when they do it live. They've now added in this intro tape to you know, do the build up and everything and the S and M orchestra and all that. But, um, I don't know. Kind of wish it was just a traditional startup, but that's just me. Um, it sounds great. Rob always kills it on the bass uh, parts, of course, Cliff's parts, and he's adding his own little thing to it. Um, Kirk, of course, improvises the soul a little bit. Lars like throwing more drum fills. But I mean, if you think about it, the studio version it does have some of that in there. Um, I wish they would have, I wish they would, I, I wish they would have wrote an instrumental for Hardwired to Self-Destruct and for Set of Two Seasons. But the way they're structuring their songs over the last two albums versus like Death Magnetic, it's very different. So maybe an instrumental won't work. Because if you think back on when they've had instrumentals, Anesthesia Pulling Teeth for Kill Em All, Call of Cthulhu Ride the Lightning, Orion Master Puppets to Lose to Die and Justice for All. The Black Album, Jason Newstead had wrote that bass part for My Friend of Misery to be an instrumental, to be a part of the instrumental, to be kind of the structure base around it. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. But that was, that's what he wanted to do, which would have been awesome. But they changed their song structures. They changed how they wrote their songs. And Justice for All, the Black Album, very different in terms of song structures and how they wrote, you know, put their music together. So when you look at Death Magnetic with Suicide Redemption, and then you look at Hardwired to Self-Destruct completely different. It's basically like Injustice for All in a sense to like the Black Album completely. Now, of course, they had Spit Out the Bone. They had the clothes on Hardwired. They had that song that is very reminiscent of their 80s thrash. However, the majority of the album was not that. Same thing for 72 Seasons. 72 Seasons has some fast stuff and there's some other fast sex, uh, sex, sex. <laughs> Sections. Holy shit sections but the majority of it is not fast it's mid range to slower tempoed stuff on 72 seasons the album so i don't know if an instrumental would have worked i wish they would have tried this did it though just do it just give us an instrumental. another one anyways that's my reaction it's good stuff it's great to hear them i i'm still annoyed that i'm a day late but at least now i kind of figured it out that hey if i just want to if i'm having fucking issues download the just download the video <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.